Greetings, and today I have another Gwent deck video for you guys. So I have finally decided to try out that new Monsters Leader ability, which has Overwhelming Hunger. I know it's pretty late considering it's near the end of the season, but I have already sort of taken a look at some other Overwhelming Hunger guides, and um, a lot of them revolve around a similar strategy, which is the use of Plague Maiden to swarm the field. And then you got cards for support like Trist Telekinesis, Yennefer, and Bone Talisman. But I did decide to tweak it a little bit to include sort of different cards in the deck. Of course, because I did choose to tweak it, it does look pretty wonky. Like, you're seeing cards here that don't off that are missing car other cards to complete, like strong combos. Um, which I totally understand. And in a sense, it's also probably not like not good at all and honestly like you guys could make changes and i honestly don't blame you guys if you want to make said changes um but honestly like i wanted to give this um deck a shot so here it is so obviously the idea is you got plague maiden being able to swarm the field now you notice that karen Thier actually is missing karen Thier is usually a spot on combo with plague maiden so you can actually start to get swarms going the reason why i didn't want karen Thier is because i didn't want to add like an extra short round because I already have some other short rounds. Like I have Oswald with Goliath. I have two Indriga Larvas. I got some Thrives. Well, I only got three Thrives with Katakan and two in and two Indriga Larvas. The thing with Katakan is the reason why Katakan was even here in the first place is because I tried thinking about doing a Swarm plus, plus Vampire hybrid. So I wanted to mix in a couple of Vampires in here as well as, you know, the ability to Swarm. Because in all honesty, like the strong Vampires really are like Proto Flutter, Oriana, Gale, they're all below 10 provisions, really. So, like, I figured why not, like, give it a try to fit them in. Like, Necarats is 7, Garcane, or, sorry, Necarats of 5, uh, Garcane's of 4, you know, like, you know, stuff like that. But, um, the thing is, without, um, uh, Blood Scent, then, oh, then it's really, it's a little bit tough to sort of get that one going. So I decided to sort of forego that, but unfortunately, in the mix, I left Katakan in, so. Katakan's still here. Uh, it's, it's still in this version of the deck, but. I mean, it's still not too bad. I mean, like I said, you guys could make changes for sure. Uh, but again, the idea was to get Plague Maiden, Triss, Yennefer, Bone Talisman. That's, you know, usual combo. Um, so, Naglfar to thin out because we do have quite the amount of goals that we want to get out. So, you know, it's not so bad that we need Naglfar here. Mata, because we have three double-digit provision cards. They, at least two of them have to be out for it to work well. Um, preferably all three if possible, but yeah, for sure. Mata. Uh, Osro was an interesting one because, again, I thought about adding in Eager. Like, for example, if you take out Osro and... Sorry, not Osro. Let me put him... Actually, no, no, no. Wait, am I talking... Am I saying... No, see, now, now this is where I'm... Oh, sorry, not Osro. Katakan. You take out Katakan for Eager, right? And then you can actually still degrade one of the cards. And in my opinion, I'd probably degrade, let's say, like a Wild Hunt Rider to a, a 4. Like, probably a Bruxa to an extra Thrive, and then, you know, another 5. The reason why the Wild Hunt Rider was even there in the first place is because, um... Because of the dominance, and I wanted to thin out my deck a little bit. Plus, it swarms a little bit... The swar it swarms the field a little bit more for, again, our swarm support. So, yeah. So, that's why Oswald was there. Again, like, to definitely tweak the deck, I think it'd be better. But, I kind of... It's almost like I threw this deck all together with my eyes closed. Maybe I did, who knows. Maybe that's a potential spoiler for an upcoming video. Question mark, question mark. Um, <laughs> next, we got Goliath. Uh, Goliath and Oswald will really go together here, I think. So, because it's really the only thing that can really combo with to get it to work. Next, we got Morvid. Morvid is a beast support. So we got Plague Maiden, a couple of Night Rates. Then Morvid can just come, a come in and sort of do its thing. Next, we got two Bone Talismans. Honestly, the use of two bone talismans could be a bit greedy, which is why I don't have Karen Thier as well. It's because two bone talismans, I think, are going to be sufficient. Um, Karen Thier in, in Plague Maiden might be a bit too much, but two bone talismans, it's pretty, pretty greedy. And I didn't want to get that greedy because I'm an honest man. I am a good man. So, uh, and I don't get that greedy. Next, we got Parasite. I needed some sort of removal just in case we come across an engine that could potentially mess us up. Uh, so Parasite, like for example, um, a Dim and Light Longship, but then again, that's sort of a one-time use only, but honestly, that could still save us quite the amount of points, so, um, I kept the Parasite here. We got one Bargus, the reason why I didn't go so heavy on the consume is because we got three charges from Overwhelming, overwhelming Hunger, uh, we have two Indrega Warriors, we have two Kikimori Warriors, honestly, you don't even need two Kikimori Warriors, one is probably just enough, uh, the reason why they're even here is because we got Night Rates, we got Indrega Eggs, 
So we're going to be killing off ones to get some threes in. Preferably you want to kill the insectoid so that you can keep your beasts alive for that morbid support. Because beasts don't really have too much support as of the moment. Uh, hopefully they get more in future patches, which would be pretty cool. Uh, again, two wild hunt rider, hunt riders for sort of that deck thin and um, swarming the field just a, just a tiny bit. Two Andrego larvas here is what I have is because um, if you like, when you don't want to commit your plague maiden just yet, you gotta have other means of keeping your points up, and Andrego larva is a good way to do it. Most people will definitely want to commit sort of their powerful cards to just get rid of these Andrego larvas, which honestly is good. Because Indrega Larva is sort of just a bonus. Um, like you got other combos that can keep you going, like Ikimori Warrior and the Beasts and the Swarm. So you got plenty of options in this deck. Two Indrega Warriors, we need consume, plus they can trigger thrive. Two Indrega eggs, you can get those drones running along with the Kikimori Warrior support. That would be pretty nice. And two night rates for the beast support. So, like I said, uh, I wanted to sort of change it up a little bit. Like I didn't want to copy like almost exactly the same deck list that I've seen like other like I've only seen I think one or two videos on overwhelming hunger anyway so there is a chance that maybe there's a, another deck guide out there that somebody made like I do watch deck other deck videos just because you know I like to learn myself like I'm also a viewer I'm not just a content creator um but I do enjoy building decks and playing with them and see how well I do and um yeah so this is the deck list for a different kind of overwhelming hunger deck and um yeah if you guys did enjoy, please leave it a like, comment on any changes you guys would like to make, and of course, subscribe for more great content. And um, other than that, let me send you guys over to the gameplay. Okay, so we take on... Ooh, Death Shadow. Okay, interesting. So this is probably Kikimori Queen. Could be a problem if it is Kikimori Queen, though. Um... So... Wild Hunt Rider might not be able to be able we not might not have a use too much of a use here. We'll get rid of it. Plague Maiden if necessary. Um we'll get rid of this too actually. Uh Goliath out here is pretty nice. Yeah, I think we'll keep this. I think I actually don't mind this hand. This is a pretty decent hand. I do go first though, so we can actually get our we can actually get our Indrago Larvas off here real quick. Uh we'll have to want Probably would want to play Kikimori Warrior here as well, so we can actually get, um, once we get our Night Wraiths and our Indrega Eggs going, then we can get Rats and stuff. And Spiders, of course. Pred Dive? Okay. I mean, sure. Pred Dive and Death Wish, huh? I mean... Not nothing you off- not something you often see. He just straight up. Oh, actually, I, I, I actually should have boosted it. That was actually my bad. I should have boosted it. Oh, interesting. Okay. He's really hell bent on getting rid of my. Okay, that's fine. We'll boost you, I guess. Just because why not, right? So we no longer have any Thrive units, but I think that's fine. Oh, so now, now he gets his Indrigo Larvas off. <laughs> I mean, sure. Maybe I should have put you here instead. So if you place Eagern, it's going to be 22 total points. Yeah, I suppose it's probably Kikimori plus. Okay. There's Egern. So uh, we, he does get rid of our dominance there, which kind of sucks, but I mean, it is what it is. So if we play Mata, who do we get out of it? We get Yennefer of Vengerberg. Okay. I mean, I don't hate it. I really don't. The only bad news is we don't really have a good consumer anymore. Like, none of our golds are consumers either, so that's gonna be a bit of a problem. I mean, I don't mind still playing the Mata, actually. The bad news is it prolongs the round. Oh, now he has an opportunity to get ahead, actually, if he has a goal yet or something. That's tough, actually. That's really tough. Okay, so it's the Beast. Sure, I mean, it's fine. 
Uh, I'll pass here. Now, now it's actually my pass. So I actually have a decent second round in case he wants to try his Kikimori Warrior. Uh, his Kikimori Queen combo, I should say. We do have a Parasite if we can draw it so we can get rid of one of them. I also don't even have a problem committing Osril if I have to. It's not the worst thing to happen to me. Question is though, what is he what are you gonna do, buddy? I mean if he passes it's gonna be a tie. And he's gonna go first, because I went first. So I doubt I doubt he's gonna pass. My guess is he might try to push. Okay, so we did get Oswald. That's really good. We have more vid, but we don't have beasts yet. Not until like we get the Spectre going. Um I kind of want to get rid of this because in worst case scenario we can use this as a charge target. Night Wraith is more beast for Morvid to boost up, which is nice. Okay, and Bones. Okay, so this is actually not so bad. This is not a bad hand at all, actually. I'm not going to lie. So we'll see if what he does. We'll see if he goes passes or... Okay, so ooh, he opts to pass, huh? Alright, that's that's... Pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, it was really the only card that I could have played. I mean, I could have played um, Maglefar, but I didn't. I don't know how I felt about wanting to get Katakan out here. But I mean, this is still fine. I think this is still fine. Okay. So, oh, we got Drago Larva. Nice, nice. Wild Hunt Rider. I don't think Wild Hunt Rider is gonna do much good for us here anymore. So we'll, we'll dip it. Okay, I'll keep you actually. You I'll keep, because I will need another... Uh, I only have right now two targets for um, Overwhelming Hunger, which sucks, but I mean, it is what it is, right? So he was hell-bent on getting rid of my two Andrega Larvas there. So my guess is this is Kikimori Queen, otherwise why would you extend it this long? It has to be Kikimori Queen. So at this point, we might have to kill one of the Kikimoris with Parasite though. Because I definitely know he's Karen Thiering. I mean, that's fine. It is what it is. Yeah, playing another monsters deck is actually pretty tough. This is Karen Thier. Oh, it's Wispus? What? What, is he gonna play Natural Selection on my Andrega Larva? Wow, he is very hell-bent on wanting to get rid of these cards. At least he doesn't get a extra spider though, so that's good. Uh, now I think we can actually commit the Plague Maiden here. Yeah, I think we can make Plague Maiden, right? Yeah, why not? We'll wait for this one. We might play Vangerberg. Actually, no, I want to play Triss first. Actually, no. The thing is, the more units he gets, the more problematic it is for me, right? Because he gets more points, too. I guess we'll see what he does. I should have waited a turn, I think. I probably shouldn't have done that immediately. I think I got too ambitious. Oh, what? Hello? Oh, this might be nice. Actually, this is even... This is good. Actually, that's perfect. Um, we could consume this, and then we can actually play Vengerberg, which wouldn't be the- yeah, yeah, actually that's pretty good. Does he not have Karen there or what? Yeah, we, we Vengerberg now, don't we? Yeah, we Vengerberg. We're nice and up, nice and up. And then we we'll probably play Morvid next. I don't think I can conjure any more beasts anyway. I mean, I guess we could have gotten Nagelfar. 
Renew? On what? The B? Oh, okay. I mean, sure. Actually, that's our Parasite target, right? Yeah, that's definitely Parasite target. I was gonna get Katakam, but I don't think I need to get ga that greedy, right? This might be the bait, like, to get out to Kikimori. Now I don't have a means to destroy it, which sucks, but I mean, it is what it is. We can play Morvid here first. I'm surprised, like usually like with- Okay, so this is probably Karen Theer and Takikimori? No? Still nothing? Wow. He might not even have it at all then. So what the heck is he play trying to play for then, huh? That's what I'm curious now. We'll boost all of our beasts. Not to mention we get an extra Thrive for the Larva, which is good. So we're ahead by 40 points here. We still have a charge uh, to use for literally no idea. <laughs> So I'll probably play Goliath, probably front row, and then Triss, and then, oh, no, no, Osril. So it's Goliath, Osril, Triss, and then Bone Talisman, right? Now, if he starts to conjure up the noon rates on me, then that's going to suck for me, actually, but. Okay, so he has Wispus. Who does he going to destroy? A rat? I can destroy a rat, sure. He doesn't even target. Wow, okay, interesting. That's interesting. I wonder why. Alright, so I'm probably gonna have to eat his, um... I'm gonna have to eat his Egern real quick here. Because if I don't, then I'm not gonna have a target to eat. <laughs> he could... Actually, no, no. I, I was gonna say he could damage this, but it's not gonna happen. Parasite? What are you oh, okay, sure. Okay, damage it by six. That's that's a lot of damage, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, buddy. Okay. I'll take that eager, please. Since it is the only like high, I mean, he. I guess my Goliath he can eat, but it's not gonna be as powerful as the eager, so that's pretty nice. Weavis. Well, was he was he trying to was he trying to hyper boost his crones? Was this the idea behind his deck here? Like he was probably planning on using renew to power up one of his crones again, and then it's like, you know. Alright, sure. Bone talisman, we'll do that. Big kaboom. And with this last charge, we have nothing to use it for, which sucks. I wonder if he's hiding an urgent. If, if he's if, if he's been hiding an urgent, then that might be problematic. Is this Osril? This must be Osril. Wait, he's choosing to eat from his own grave? Okay, I mean, <laughs> sure, bud. Uh, we'll eat this. Not like it matters, I think. The problem is though, if he, uh, this is gonna suck. Down here, up here, suck. Is this, is this, is this Igni? Oh, not Igni. Is this um Eirdrin? Is this Urgen? If this is Urgen, this would suck. Oh, it's Igni! Oh, 20 points won't even be enough. <laughs> yeah, because uh, what do we take on? Ooh, Elves. Interesting. The, prob the problem with Elves is they have every means of destroying everything I've got. So they can get rid of my Kikimori Warrior here, which would suck. I literally have all my units for Swarm, but I don't want to commit Swarm yet. Too early, you know? Yikes. Okay, so I'll Larva first as always. I may actually... Not, now I'm not going to make the mistake I made last game and not boost this Kikimori Warrior just because of how um, low power it is. I think I'm going to have to actually tactical advantage this thing. 
And I can actually get out Wild Hunt Rider anytime I want, just because I know that they don't usually go tall. Unless they, you know, they run Great Oak early, which I doubt. This one is probably Scenario. The problem is if this is Scenario, then Yennefer is going to be tough to pull off. Really tough to pull off. So that's something I still got to think about. Like, I don't know if I might have to go a little bit less greedy with Yennefer and sort of just play it early. Um, this version actually doesn't run Karen Thier because I, I feel like that would just be good in a really short round. And I already have some decent short round plays, like with Indrega Larvas, with Goliath, with Eager, and with Osril, with Katakan. So that Thrive package is pretty good for the short round anyway. So it's not like that I need to do it yet. So we'll do this. And then we'll actually boost it up. And then next turn, we'll probably play Night Wraith, Kikimori Warrior, Eat. The only bad news is I don't have a consumer. Like, I can't consume. Like, I'll actually have to literally kill a Night Wraith with Kikimori Warrior to get it off, which is not good. So not drawing a consumer actually kind of sucks here for us. Is he gonna... Moving it won't matter, though, will it? I don't think it will. Alright, he has to damage it. Fair enough. Uh, we'll play Night Wraith here. We still get Thrive, right? So we're, we're up by 9, which we're doing pretty good here. We're doing pretty good. The only bad news is, again, like, because I, I don't have any cards. Like, I'm not using cards that I can use to deal with my opponent's units. He is sort of gonna get his way here. So that is gonna be tough to deal with. I mean, if I can actually get into a short round with him, that would also not be so bad. Because, you know, between Yennefer and Triss and, like, Plague Maiden, I think that'll be enough to get me, like, plenty of points to win the game, honestly. Alright, so he is creepily starting to catch up, and that is getting a little bit scary. Um, I'll still play Wild Hunt Rider. It's still not stopping me from my course. And then we'll still do this. You still get to spawn more and more. I don't know, however, I don't know how I feel about prolonging this round. I mean, we're up by 10. Pretty good. We can always use Goyette to get ahead if we have to. Okay, so this one runs Nova Guardian Justice. He's not going to get any... Well, he is going to get value here. That's two boosts per turn, which is going to be bad. But getting Nova Guardian Justice out of him, actually, it's not so bad either. But now he actually gets ahead here. So that this could actually potentially be a problem. Uh, I could Mata... Yeah, I might Mata, actually. Now, I will have to kill this. Which isn't good. But, I mean, you know, we're, we're up we're up by 9. We're up by 9. Not so bad. We, we can actually even commit Triss here if we have to in order to win round 1. Secure that good... Secure it very, very well. We can even try and 2 him if we wanted to, so... Like, for sure this deck could definitely be, be tweaked to make it a bit better. Like, Katakan... The reason why Katakan was even in here in the first place is because A, like, having him with another Thrive unit, plus getting, like, playing, like, my big units off would be nice. And, um, B, I was actually thinking about running a hybrid... Uh, a hybrid... A hybrid Vampire plus Swarm deck, but I feel like that would have been too high maintenance. So that's why you kind of get this trash <laughs> of a uh, deck that you see. Okay, so he does up to pass. Um, I am going to push him though. Because I, I have some pretty good cards for it too. I have some really, really good cards for it too. So I don't mind. Like even, you know, with Dead I Ambush, I think I'll still be okay. Draco Eggs. Morvid is really good here. I don't think we need that second Kikamori Warrior for this. Ah, uh, nah. Katakan's fine. Um, so we did... Okay, so we can play Night Wraith here first. Uh, I want to put him here, actually. We could play Plague Maiden. And then actually, I, I might want to eat him up like immediately, I think. Like, look at the cards we have. The cards we have actually are really, really good. Like, we can do a major round 2 push here. 
Okay, that's fine. If he destroys it, he destroys it, right? I mean, if anything, he's kind of doing my job for me. He's actually doing my job for me, so I don't mind that. We could even play in Draga Eggs right now. Yeah, we'll play in Draga Eggs, actually. I, th I think he did this expecting us to pass, and uh, nope, that is not happening, sir. <laughs> I am not passing at 7. I am low-key gonna go all out here. So what I might do actually is next turn I'll Plague Maiden, and then I'll actually eat the Plague Maiden, but not eat in Draga Eggs in case he actually tries to move one down here. And I don't exactly want this this back row filling up, because we do have Yennefer and Triss still to deal with, so, you know. Not gonna eat this just yet. I mean, he knows that Overwhelming Hunger does run Plague Maiden. He's probably thinking of a way to stop it. And I'm not sure if he has a way to stop it. Well, I guess we'll see. I mean, he can kill a rat, sure. Oh, he doesn't even go for the rat. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm not gonna do this just yet. I see no reason to. And then we'll actually Yennefer here next. Actually, I might take up another charge and then I'll Yennefer. And then maybe I'll Morvid, and then I'll Triss. Yeah, that might be a betterish plan. Okay, there's- Oh, he was prepared! No! <laughs> he was prepared for that attack! Dang, that's tough. Yeah, the fact that he was prepared for that was actually pretty tough. Uh, honestly, that's fine. I mean, we'll still- tr We still want to try, though. He was- I forgot about to reveal. I did not think about to reveal. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I did not think about to reveal. Okay, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. We'll play Katakan here. I... yeah, I did not think about to reveal. I probably should not have actually eaten the Plague Maiden immediately. So I kind of messed that up. That's actually my fault. I completely forgot about to reveal. I don't know why I wasn't thinking to reveal. I actually should have been thinking to reveal, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, sure. Um, We can still do this. And then we'll still Yennefer. I mean, he poisons, he poisons, right? The bad news is actually is our now our back rows all filled up. That's not good. Yep, they're sweeping Willow. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I don't know if we're gonna be able to win this. I may have to use my last charge here. Actually, I want to pick Goyat first, right? But I may have to use my last charge down here at some point. That way I can still get Triss off relatively well. Sure. It's a lot of harmony going off though, so that's kind of tough. Uh, we'll get rid of Vengerberg. So all he has is Nature's Rebuke, huh? Interesting. Unfortunately, my Morvid isn't gonna get a lot of points. I can't believe I forgot about that Vengerberg. That- Ah, oh, sorry, the to reveal. That actually really sucks. Yeah, there's Nature's Rebuke. So what are this? I'm gonna assume one of his last few cards is uh, Great Oak. This isn't a lot of points. I mean, it's still 10 points. Like, it's not too bad. Can I don't think we can even go all the way. Like, I don't have a strong unit to eat. Like, I have to, I have to get Goya to the graveyard first.
Another poison? Oh boy. Alright, so this is gonna be a pass for sure. The problem is, though, he's yet to use up charges, and I've used up all of mine. I mean, this is 9... Okay, so... Ooh, this might still not be enough. Despite my mistake, this might still not be enough. Yikes. Okay, well... It, okay, well... <laughs> Boom! This makes up for my mistake. You know what? This makes it up. This makes up for my mistake. I will actually accept this. And that will do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave it a...